five, six, seven, eight. Test, test, test. <laughs> this right. is just tech guy stuff. Yeah. It is tech guy, tech guy stuff. This, right. this is this is good though. You this know what I mean? Tech guy Burke stuff. needs to learn a lot from Gardein. <laughs> that's a, that's salvageable. <laughs> yeah, salvageable. this is this is. You should be taking fucking notes. We just missed stuff. Yeah. We just recorded 45 minutes that are all gone to the wayside. And it was good stuff. It was yeah, great yeah. stuff. We're going to have to use a little bit of camera audio. We coordinating we'll dancing. We were talking about uh, <laughs> Latin wives. Yeah, we were. Well, we'll go back to fishing. You guys want to yeah. talk about fishing? Yeah, Dude. we still do have to talk about fishing. Yeah, let's talk about fishing. <laughs> you boys came hot with these shirts and I fucking... What's your motion when you're, when you're, when you're hunting for bass? When I'm hunting, well, it depends what I'm throwing, right? What so if you're throwing a swim bait... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> dude. Hold on, real quick. I'm sorry, Johnny. I thought all your tweets about fishing. I texted him like two months ago, and I was like, "Dude, is this a bit?" Yeah, because his tweets are wild. They're like very simplistic. He's like, "I ate a sandwich today." Yeah, he gets like a hundred thousand likes, <laughs> and he always, he always he peppers in the fishing thing. I'm like, "This is brilliant." Yeah, because you you wouldn't. I mean, look at him. The oh, man is yeah, passionate. Yeah. 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 But this yeah. also could be part of the day. bag and a True. fishing shirt on. Dude, you might, you might just be fucking. Do you have tackle in there? there? No, I, I might have leftover <laughs> tackle in here, actually. <laughs> if I pulled out a grub right now, yeah. I might have one in there. <laughs> Little pieces of turkey from your Sammy? <laughs> True. All right, so go, go back to your, it depends on what up. you're throwing. I'd like to talk about the fuel that I had before this podcast. Yeah, yeah. What is Turkey your... sandwich, Arizona iced tea, American yeah. spirit. Dude, You're ready to go. You're going to be fired up. <laughs> and now I have this Check Guinness. the levels again, Burke. He's now probably this, bopping. What is this called? Again, what do you call this, Burke? Guinness. No, but what's no, the you... silly word you were saying? <laughs> Griblets? What were you calling oh, it? Griblet. Griblet. Yeah. <laughs> he makes up fake words. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's one of my favorite things about you. Thanks, buddy. No problem. So we went fishing. I know. We took our 3,000 so patron fishing trip that got canceled months ago, multiple yeah. times. Yeah. And on Sunday, we went to Rhode Island at three in the morning. We, we took a three hour trek. And what I experienced was uh, otherworldly. It was emotionally daunting. Dude, it was a fucking dream, dude. It, it looked was, like it. Dude, we like, we got there, we get to the dock at fucking 2 30 in the morning, load up the boat. Every, it's foggy as fuck. It's like yeah. thick fog in the harbor. We, If I'm there, I'm already scared of that. Dude. Yeah, me too. I was it, shit myself. It, dude. It scares the shit out of me. Get, yes. Fog? Yes. I was skiing in Vermont like a couple, like during the skiing season this year. And one day it was like 60, but it had rained earlier. So it was just like, you, I couldn't see my hand if it was out here. And I was like trembling going. I pretended like I was injured so my friends wouldn't make me ski. <laughs> I was like, my knee's killing me. Dude. I'm just going to hang in the yeah. lodge. I pulled a yeah, eating dude, a ham sandwich earlier. Skiing in fog is fucking crazy. Dude, yeah. I, was, I, I was like close to hitting so many people going down hills that I didn't know what level of difficulty they were because I couldn't see the sign. Yeah. It was awful. But oh, my sorry, God. No, but it was like, but you could see straight up. You could see God. Yeah. So Dude. it was like you just saw it like the Milky Way and all the stars and then just like thick fog all around. And they were like, I forgot fucking, about the stars. Dude, the stars. <laughs> the were, fucking sky how could was, you forget was about still, the stars? Because everything else was so it was dude. I'm telling visually, it was a it was a fucking I'm telling you, I, I was telling Burke when he does the edits, we have to show Clay, our camera guy, launching the drone. Cause our we have shots of whales. I know, and I saw it. If, he, if we don't show... You're jumping ahead in the story. Oh, dude, I'm excited, man. <laughs> story you got to lay it out oh, yeah, okay. All right, tease him, tease him, tease him. Dude. So what are you throwing on your <laughs> oh, <true. laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do this. You yeah. guys are used to <laughs> <laughs> casually baiting the hook uh, of the conversation, yeah, if yeah. you will. <laughs> what are you, what, what are you, yeah, you're fishing top water. What do you what do you got going if on? If I'm fishing top water, I like to throw a whopper plopper. Yeah, yo, 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 yo. Take it easy. Which is yeah, it's pretty high level stuff. You can throw a buzz bait too. <clears throat> and then I What's like the to, action on that. The action on the buzz bait is uh it makes a sound when it spins and uh it just skims across the water, makes a wake, and yeah. it pisses the bass off. Do you have like a are you no, Do I don't fly wrist action fish. Or you just no, no, no. But you have to live a little wrist action. Oh yeah, I got you? my bait caster rod, uh, medium fast action. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, depends. So like on the on real. the top water, I'm just re you're just reeling it as you know at an even speed. Yeah. To make an even wake, and then they could time it better to attack it. I, that's what I think, at least. Are and, you close to your dad? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how close. this worked? 
No, he doesn't even like fishing that much. It was my grandpa. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's he sweet. liked fishing a lot. That's even better. And now he's dead. <laughs> From fishing? No, he died in a fire. What? But how was your guy's trip? <laughs> <laughs> how did he die in a fire? I was just talking about this. I just remembered it because I did Lev's podcast and he posted yeah. a clip of just me talking about how my grandpa died in a fire. Yeah, I was like, oh, nice. Fire back up. This is going to get views, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's just an electrical fire and he's 80 some, so he, he just ah, the smoke shit. inhalation and stuff. Oh, Damn. Fuck. Well, that's good. The smoke killed him, not the fire. I know. Well, we were worried that like one of his cigs fucked him up because uh, he was like lighting them backwards at that time. He was so old. Yeah. yeah he, he's really losing it. And he almost died in a fire at 40 too. So like it almost got him when he was like 40 and then it eventually came for him at the end. <laughs> Damn. I could see you dying in a fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From what? What? Elect electrical issues? I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Just something. Dude, yeah. If anybody's got electrical issues, candles. I think it'd be a candle. A candle. You know, before problem. before we continue with the fishing, I'm parking Chris's car out front, and I pull up to where like we can we can <laughs> <laughs> we can we can pack yeah. our bags before the yeah, fishing yeah. trip. Oh yeah, yeah. So I found this little like this little section where I could like dock in so cars could get by, and I hear this rattle and crash behind me a two so, a, a, no, no, no 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 we, no, we no. left it like like four we in the here, afternoon yeah. oh, okay. we got up there at like 8 p.m okay. to sleep there oh nice and i hear this rattle so i'm looking at all the mirrors i i turn out chris is hanging out the window the ac unit is crashed and the, and the cord <laughs> is ripped out of the fucking thing like spark it of your bedroom yeah the like i was hoping there'd be no one on the street i just look up and tommy's looking back at me like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> dude, it felt like happy gilmore with like lee trevino or whatever dude. is always there being like yeah <laughs> Just every time he fucks up. Such a perfect fucking moment. Damn. So and that's only, the start of the trip. Yeah, that was yeah, just yeah, a yeah, busted yeah. AZ. Just trashing an AZ. Just angry Chris. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. So go ahead. Go, go back to your weights and, and measures. No, I mean, I don't know. Uh, what do you want to know about him? Well, I will. Maybe, maybe it'll be better to talk about it later. Okay. I want to hear that. This is way more when interesting. We get, when All we right, get so we get the, on the water. We get to the bath. It's dark. It's gloomy. You come through. This is my autistic uh, gardener. Yo. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> He's got to work on the tomato plants. Watch the cables. <laughs> He's got to work on the yeah. tomato plants. Yeah, He's got to fucking put a pole and stabilizer in there. We got tomatoes. We got some basil. You know, hired a tomato plant guy? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta. It's my boy Steve. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Steve? Anyway, yeah. Steve used to live in the house. Yeah, Steve used to live here. Uh, and so, now he tends to the I don't know it's a wild story it's a wild story your slave just dude. won't do the broadcast <laughs> uh, now if anyone would drop in an dude, AC unit out of no water joke, thinking somebody like you no joke because he was carrying those two sticks I thought they were fishing rods when he walked in and he's got that dude, fucking yeah, like, I thought you fucking guys were doing a joke I was on like me. is this a fucking bit yeah. <laughs> that's what, what I thought fuck? that's exactly yeah. what I thought yeah, so we got playing <laughs> I was about to be so mad I get a little charter around the Long Island Sound <laughs> so that'd be nice yeah. alright so we're like we, we, dude they they have like this huge spotlight on top of the boat like spotting buoys and shit to get out of this channel like just like yeah it was romantic and, and scary at the same time <clears throat> then we get around like this seawall and the guy just starts gunning it and like it was this crazy thing where it's like it's so foggy that you and like you can't see in front of you yeah so like terrifying. and we're like we have no we we knew it was supposed to be calm but like we had no idea what that meant <laughs> yeah I, mean? I, I don't like, either dude i went on one deep sea fishing trip like 10 12 years ago and i threw up for six hours yeah i worry so about that. i was so scared and not looking forward to this trip because i was like it's gonna be the same yeah. thing yeah. i ate so much drowning mean <laughs> the night before i couldn't sleep because it was like i had the non-drowsy and then i had the drowsy so i was just like in a state of euphoria <laughs> yeah in a way and then they were like just stare at uh, either a star or the moon. I fell yeah. in love with this fucking moon. It was red. It was just on over the horizon. Dude, gorgeous. Yeah. Like dr like DreamWorks moon, like perfect. Oh, nice. just footage. crescent moon. Yeah, footage yeah, is ridiculous. Like Crazy. And it was also that like planetary parade thing was happening where every- What? Yeah, like like Mars, Venus, Jupiter, oh, Saturn were all like lined up. 
Did you see that? Yes, yeah. dude. It was crazy. You could see the dude. Milky Way, dude. Yeah, it looked like a painting. Because I've only the only time I've seen the sky uh, outside of like, <laughs> outside of like <laughs> the stars are so <laughs> beautiful, man. <laughs> they are. You don't I'm understand. With, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm well, you know, the fucking artificial light it ruins the sky. You don't. You, you don't get to you, see the you Milky Way. You get to see way. like three yeah. stars. Milky Way is so insane. You gotta go up I the almost, mountains. I almost don't believe. Like I've never seen anything other than the moon and like stars. Oh, dude. dude. Like I. Didn't think this was possible it's you pitch black that, there's not yeah. a, a, a cloud in the sky the, the waves are fine you look up and it, you're in a planetarium yeah it that's was so cool so and gorgeous you realize that it's like the, the it's thick with stars like there's nowhere there isn't a star yeah, yeah. like where it's are like these all the yes. time i mean i mean that's literally what the milky way is it's just a thick band of stars yeah like across and then we would just be like this and i'd look over to chris and he'd be like <laughs> yeah. chris would just look at me and go I know, man. <laughs> I know. Dude. But also, like, Damn. we're like every once in a while we hit like a big roller and it feels like, okay, we're like getting out in the deep ocean and this might be fucking nuts. So we're still just like I'm I, at that point I was still like, I'm I might puke. Yeah. Like eventually. If, if this gets if this gets heavier and heavier yeah. and heavier, I might fucking puke. Yeah. The, but then like we're like 45 minutes of just straight gunning it. The sun's starting to come up. It's no, like, it was an hour and a half. Easy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, had I thought, to be. it had to be. I was checking the time. Hours. They yeah. said around two to three hours we'd get to the destination for right, two. Right, right, right. It was about an hour and a half, close to two hours. His brother's True, sleeping yeah. against yeah. the back of the boat. What do you call it? Starboard? <laughs> the, the, yeah. The Poop aft. Death. The bow? Rear. Yeah. The rear. Well, why can't I remember The ass of the boat. He's yeah. sleeping. This dude, he's going like... 45 50 miles an hour just Alan Stern on Stern. a fucking yeah. yeah on a dime stops on a dime wakes him up he hits his fucking head and then we just see dolphins or porpoises dude an army of porpoises coming over like rollers in the distance just While coming the sun's right coming at us dude boner city it's yeah. it is and we were like we were all like oh Earth. my god oh my god like <laughs> thinking that they would just like cruise away and the captain was just like, no, they're coming right for us. They'll hang out with us for a while. And then they immediately, like, they swing out these, like, outriggers. Like, there's these huge arms that go out on the side of the boat. And they uh, get, like, five or six rods going, just trolling for tuna. Oh, okay. Because it's like, the whole, the whole thing is just, like, find dolphins, find whales, and then... Do the tuna are close? Yes. Oh, Okay. So huh. like we, he like just cuts it. They start like just swinging these arms yeah. out, like rigging like, everything up. Go. And dude, and then it was just we were like slowly trolling and just dolphins fucking all around us at like sunrise. The sun hadn't even gotten up yet. It was just like pink sky. Damn, it, it was, was that's Little Mermaid. Incredible, dude, it was. It dude, was. Little it was fucking playing other shit. That's, that's why I said so we gotta cool. show him releasing the drone because like, yeah. it'll look like B roll we stole from. Fucking no! It really yeah. does look like Nat Geo. Dude. The footage is so good. <laughs> you guys, you saw the whale shit, wait. right? Yeah, yeah, I saw the whales oh, and the dude. dolphins. Dude, just wait on. Just it. fucking wait. It's, it's coming. Yeah. I mean, spoiler alert: we didn't get a fucking dolphin, but we did get. <laughs> well, <laughs> we we didn't get tuna. Yeah. I was worried that was a dumb question. Like you're, you're not ever gonna try to get a dolphin on the boat, right? No. Like you don't fuck with dolphins. No, I think it'd be like illegal. <laughs> Yeah, but why? Like they're smarter than that. They're not going to grab the bait. They rape and stuff. Yeah, they you do. That, right? Yeah. Dolphins. I don't know if porpoises do. Oh, I didn't even know they were different. Yeah, porpoises are a little bit liberal. smaller, different teeth. They're liberal. Yeah, but <laughs> left leaning are the porpoises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the dams. <laughs> So yeah, then, not like, like the cool dolphins. But then like we're, we're trolling for yeah, the wild. Like, rapey dolphins. We're, we're trolling for the wild. Smoking the, cigs. The dolphins kind of like move on. We were like uh, jigging for a bit. We like yeah. hung out and jig, which is like that's what I was gonna get. I was gonna exhausting. get into jigging. Yeah, let's get in the yeah. jigging. Yeah, let's go back to you. <clears throat> you jig for bass too. It's probably a completely different lure. I mean, it's definitely a completely different lure. Yeah, I learned how to jig. You rig, I'd pop it three times, and then I'd rig, and then I'd pop. That's what I do for bass. So I bounce it off the bottom. Oh no, that's like <clears throat> yeah. We I guess we were kind of jigging like when we were off Block Island. Yeah, but this is like this is just like. Pulling like pulling real, pulling half turn uh, like you're just you, you drop this thing like then, 200 feet and then just like pull I've seen up, videos yeah, yeah, and it's fucking exhausting. It sounds the, exhausting. The, the the lure is like I feel like the it's lure, probably as big as like the lure weighs catch. like 25 pounds. Yeah, yeah. damn. <clears throat> anyway, crazy. but then we're like we're trolling around forever, 
then we four started. hours. Tommy cracked a beer at I think five forty five. Yeah, I hit like six. six. It's five o'clock right. somewhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You're in Margaritaville. <laughs> it's lunchtime. It's fucking lunchtime. Yeah. You get up and like we we, I, we stayed up the whole day. So, you know, I yeah. said to myself, once we get to the destination, you earned yeah. it. The sun comes up. That's a good six hours. Yeah. So you know, you get up at like uh, eleven, twelve. You have a drink at six p.m. It's the same thing. It's just yeah. a little shift. <laughs> yeah. It's You're on the nocturnal schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm still fucked up from the schedule. Yeah. That's a, yeah. This is what I can't the sunrise do. sunrise was fucking unbelievable, too, yeah. by the way. Like, it's so, coming it's, up. And I then, just realized this is not as entertaining as, as it was emotionally entertaining <laughs> to us <laughs> until you see the footage. But <clears throat> there's not much to say other than <clears throat> when <clears throat> we finally reeled in some striped bass. Dude, they're like 50-pound fish. Yeah, dude. 49. We caught a 49 yeah. incher and a 47 incher. Like yeah. beasts. I've never caught a fish that I've never fished in the ocean before. I only fish fresh. Oh, dude. So that's bigger than any fish I've ever Where caught. Where do you go? Yeah. What do you fish? Just ponds and lakes by my house in Jersey. Are they, uh, what do you call it when you, you throw a bunch you, of fish in? You stock them. Stock them. Are they stocked? stocked? Some are, some aren't. Depends. And I don't really know which ones are and aren't because I just yeah. like go to retention ponds and just try to catch fish there. And sometimes there won't be anything and then sometimes they'll just be huge fish because no one fishes in them yeah yeah you do cricks and creeks are yeah. you a creek guy or a creek guy <laughs> i'm a creek guy i'm yeah. a creek guy you're good i think that's pa right yeah cricks pa do uh do like freshwater bass have like a pattern that you like are aware like what time are they feeding they feed early in the morning and right before sundown mostly yeah. you yeah. Can catch them all day but uh, and then you work around the spawn, which is where when they lay eggs and stuff. Uh, so in Jersey right now, they're kind of like mid spawn, I think. So it's kind of <laughs> sucked. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they're just fucking. Because they're eating. not feeding as much since <laughs> okay. they're like on beds. Well, it, I don't know. I don't know too much about it still. Yeah. That part of it. But Sounds like you know a lot. <laughs> during, as the seasons go, they they tend to go to like different parts of the pond, like. Uh, so in a certain part of the season, they'll be up on the bank more. So you just like cast along the shore in real shallow water. Yeah. And then I think as the seasons go, they get deeper. And there's going to be some retard that's watching this. And he's going to be like, Sean doesn't know anything. Of course. But that's that's going to be. This is what I've gathered from the thousands of hours of YouTube videos that yeah. I've watched on bass fishing. Yeah. Well, I also gained like a whole new appreciation for like how important just the right fucking action is yeah because yeah. dude like the, like the right motion dude like yeah the fish this, are like what's this, this fucking thing well, this guy i've this never guy seen this pulls yeah. us pulls us up to where he's like dude there's fucking tons of bass down there you can see it on like the depth yeah. depth finder which is cheating yeah. i felt like that was kind of fucked up people use them in lakes too i never i fish but, off the bank yeah. so i don't but. but literally like he would cast over and just like 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 two poles tag and bring a guy in yeah. and then we'd be out there doing it for like 20 minutes just trying to like get yeah, anything get the and then again right. he would grab it throw one out and just be like yeah it's on here you go <laughs> yeah he would hook <laughs> it, it like, yeah. he would hook it and then hand the pole over yeah. and then i'd reel it in and it's like <laughs> it felt like it was taking a fucking you it's know like, fat kid to like camp your husband like, here, opens you get the one. pickle jar for you <laughs> there you go honey you did it yeah the hardest oh. part about fishing is like sitting in your own thoughts. That's my favorite part of it. I know. It, it I didn't, does I, suck it sometimes. It is. It's a. It's definitely. A, it's like. It's like fucking yoga. It's like mental yoga. Well, that was to me the most fun part about this type of fishing because I like that too. I like. I like being on a boat. Like you find a spot, you just fucking order like on a dock or something, yeah. and you're just like you're casting and just thinking. This was like a straight up hunt where like he would just be ripping. And like, cause we eventually lost, like those dolphins just took off. And then he just started like ripping to another part of the ocean and everyone's just scanning their horizon for something. And you see like a splash and you're like, dude, head that way. And then you find a fucking whale, oh like, my God. Well, like a pod of whales, just like, like tails fucking. And they were, they're like, and dude, then they it's like, oh my God, they're feeding. Like they were like, they're like setting up this whole strategy to like hunt and, and catch bait. And then every, then all, it's like this island of life where like yeah. they're fucking shit up birds are just like swarming in and like and we're like fucking 60 miles offshore birds everywhere dolphins all around them and then they were like they were like we can see tuna down there like on the depth chart you see these little like they're like little like check marks they look like on the depth finder huh. and they're like we can see tuna down there they're down there but they it's just weren't eating yeah 
And he was, and dude, he got to a point where he's like, I've never seen this much action in my entire life. Like just like yeah. whales and dolphins like, together. He's like, I've never seen anything like this. I can't believe we're not getting like, and when we, when, like, when I was jigging, like I, I was jigging on the wrong side Chris of the boat excited, at one dude. point. <laughs> How excited. And then he was like, he was like, dude, get the fuck to the other side of the boat. He was like, if we catch something, it's going to be fucking huge. It's <laughs> like, you, you it'll get help. sucked under the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. He was like, you need to be on that side because the current will be pushing the bait like away from you. Dude, I was so scared of that. Dude. Like, uh, even oh, yeah. when I'm in like lakes, I'll be like, damn, I hope I don't hook like that was my num- something that's going to pull me <laughs> in. Dude. Dude, dude, also like I after hooking a sea bass or a striped bass, I was like, there's no shot. I would have no shot with a tuna. Yeah, like imagine how I would be. Like Bees was telling me that he's like, dude, it's gonna take you like an hour to get that it thing takes up. I'm like, hours. I don't even think I'll be able to do it. Go. Yeah, no, apparently you got to use every guy on the probably boat. Give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to like rotate through uh, people. Yeah, because it's just too much. The whole whale fight thing, for fucking ever. The whale thing <laughs> yeah. fucked me up, dude. Because we would just sit and nothing would happen, and then we would just see a whale go. <laughs> that would scare the and shit like out of me. And he's like forty yards away, and then we would line the boat around him. Two of them would come up with their bubbles and shit. You could see the the uh, the bait fish jump out of the water. They would come up, eat the bait fish going opposite directions. The birds yeah. would come down, pluck, and I'm just yeah. staring. I got no rod in my hand <laughs> other than my dick. At the <laughs> same time, I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I, missed, I missed a lot of the whale stuff because I was in the back jigging. Yeah. You were just jigging back. <laughs> yeah, I was jigging my story ass off. Life, back. Jigging <laughs> the That's the story of your life. I was jigging my What a perfect ass analogy off. for your just, existence. <laughs> just, I missed all just the good watching stuff. Tommy go, Jesus, Clay, did you get that? Did you get that? <laughs> no, I doubted him so hard. Did you get it, though? Dude, yeah. he, oh, he launches yeah. a fucking drone from the front of the boat. I'm like, he's over here. I'm like, I'm pointing as if he doesn't know. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just controlling this little screen. And then I saw the footage. This motherfucker's a mile in the sky and he, he's got three whales breaching, picking off a pot of bait fish and then showing their bellies Rolling. and then yeah. going back underneath. Yeah. Oh. It is unfucking believable. Dude, yeah, it's it was, crazy. I can't wait to watch it. It but was absolutely gorgeous. Now I got to buy a fish because <laughs> the whole point was <laughs> yeah. I was going to cook oh, whatever yeah. we caught. The stripers we caught were too caught. big to keep. Really? Yeah. yeah. They have like a they have like a range. Like it's I think twenty eight to thirty four or something to like thirty six, I think. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And huh. it, like ours were forty nine. Fucking Damn. bangers. Too big dude. to eat. That's Beasts. kind of a cool flex though. Beasts. Yeah. Well yeah. they're comers. They're breeders. These the yeah. big guys apparently just come on everything. And they make more of the things. <laughs> yeah, like Clay me, had to catch a train. <laughs> Otherwise, these guys wanted to stay out for like another like three hours. Yeah. I think your they brother like wanted another up. nap too. Your oh, brother, yeah. was, brother like, was dying. All right, guys, yeah. pull up the. And I was like, I, I want to get another one. <laughs> and then I was like, he my, took like six naps. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> motherfucker would just wake up, eat a sandwich, take a nap. He ate. He ate like th- three and a half, four sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> he was just like he was like just searching for yeah, energy anywhere he could find it. Yeah, yeah. four <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> that's a lot of podcast fuel. Well, I was like, that's what I told him. I was like, you're tired because you keep fucking eating. Your body hasn't broke down the last sandwich. Hey, 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 hey. Wow, 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 How wow. you having it <laughs> And there's no shitter. We couldn't even use the bathroom. Like, yeah. You had a lot oh, of nerve. True. Yeah. Yeah, you had to piss in the back. No, and there's I, a shitter. You could have used the shitter if you needed to. Nah, they were pretty adamant. They're, they were cops. They're, they're fucking sea cops. There's chum in the water. <laughs> Do you know what the, the name of their charter is? No. Blue Line Charter, because it's Blue Lines Matter. Blue, blue Lives blue Matter. Lives. So it they're has a- uh, Blue Line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have flags on their on their fucking on their uh, fishing shirts. Long this sleeve, is we hate mock turtlenecks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, don't get the wrong impression. Yeah. No, I'm just guys, kidding. I'm good, a dance good guys. Yeah, I love yeah. the same blue line. Yeah, Let's yeah. just say we weren't we weren't fishing for blackfish. <laughs> <laughs> it said blue line fishing and it had a blue lives matter flag on the back. I like yeah. that. Anyway, these sea cops. <laughs> <laughs> they they wouldn't let us use the, the bathroom, so I'm bombing. <laughs> what? Tom's gonna bite into a sandwich. He's gonna be hooking it. The sea cops wouldn't let me. Captain use, Kev's gonna take. Yeah, you they're fishing out. for yeah. guineas. Wouldn't let me use the pisser uh, down down in the in the, <laughs> in the cabin. So I'm on the so back I'm. bobbing, but I'm already like I'm like three beers deep. So I'm like I gotta I gotta empty this bladder. The batter, my bladder is rolling, dude. It's a lot of pressure in my belly. And I'm, 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 it was the movement. The movement got me uh, like fried, stage fried. Sh- and I got, oh. and they're, and they're like 
they kept fi fixing like the lures and changing the stuff with the right here. And like, I couldn't piss with my brothers growing up if they were in like the same room or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And this guy's like changing hooks and stuff. And <laughs> so I pretended I pissed like twice. Yeah. You know I know. what I mean? I was like, maybe if he fucks off and heads back <laughs> to the starboard bound or whatever, <laughs> I, could, I could leak. And it never happened until Wait, why finally. Why was the turlet off limits? I don't. Uh, well, look, I think there's like. He had if, to turn on if, some switch. Uh, to flush it My or bad. some shit. Yeah, and yeah, I, think, I think there's like there's like a filter <laughs> in it that you need to like switch out every once in a while. And if you like shit in the, I wasn't the shit, I told him I just had to piss. No, I know, but every time someone pissed, it kind of stunk too. And I only learned this no a couple one months ago. In the bathroom. No one used the bathroom. The I think someone did. I think they did. <laughs> Nobody did. I think they I did. saw them both piss off the edge of the bed. Bottle, something like that, right? What? The water what? bottle. Piss in the water bottle or something. That's what I was going to do. I was going to go downstairs, piss in a bottle, but we didn't have a water bottle like that, Deer Park. And I was afraid that if I piss in a can, I had I had yeah, three of these in, get in my body. Yeah, and then I'm like <clears throat> spilling all by them because you got to pass the boat. And I'm like, what are you doing? I also <laughs> like down down there. A Deer Park that size maybe i could do a regular bottle of water on my bladder is way bigger than that oh dude I, dude i'll crush a, a, a giant gatorade yeah, yeah, I, have, yeah i have big gatorade in my car just for that reason it's the yeah. worst feeling when you start getting to the top you pee in a car all the time me too my dad taught me how to piss in a bottle at my first yankee game yeah and i pissed in a bottle and we threw it in the garbage can and then a homeless lady came by and took it out of the garbage can and put it in her purse no yeah. no you can't no piss. My dad was way. like, don't drink that. And she was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, you don't know the life I'm living. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but almost every, because I drive fucking to Philly here all the time. Yeah. So I'm always pissing in my Same. car. Big fan. I have a, I have like a sweatshirt in the back, so if I'm in traffic, I'll just if FDR. there's a bus it. next to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll do FDR and just. Yeah. Do it under the blanket and then yeah. throw it out, or the oh, really? sweatshirt and throw the sweatshirt. <laughs> you toss it out the window? Nah, I'll keep it and then I, when I park, I'll dump it. Dude, one of my buddies. But I have tossed it out the window. You ever jerk, you know, jerk off while driving? No, that's. I have a friend who has it. It's crazy to me. I did it once. How? Like, are you moving or <laughs> yeah, are you Yeah, yeah, you're, I'm driving. <laughs> Damn. I'm dri put it in cruise control. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I, I, I think, I I think there was it. like. There was a piece of me that just I wanted to see it. if I could do it. Yeah. You know? Like, I was super horny. And I didn't feel like waiting. And I was just like... Wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, it's like, can what I do It's this? not a backflip, dickhead. It's You're just <laughs> beating off in your front seat. I know, but you got to drive, too. <laughs> it's it's yeah, I mean, look. No, yeah, it was on the turnpike. I'd be kidding you to say I didn't do it. Yeah, you Absolutely did. Absolutely done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought about yeah, it. It's hard. It's hard. It's not. It's very easy. Get a little nudge here. Total control here. This is my real hand. No, I'm not, I'm not saying the drive I'm is hard. I'm saying the focus. <laughs> the focus. You're catching a big one. I'm jigging. I'm jigging jig. jig. and controlling the wheel here. Total jig hand. Dude, my boy, my one buddy was uh, was on a long road trip and he was pissing in a car. It was a family trip and his mom was in the back seat, passed out. He pisses in a car. And hauls it out the window. It flies back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Back Sprays her mom, no. dude. Yeah. Oh, and his mom what an is idiot. Tossed he a got cup of on his mom. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. Imagine dude. the rest of that car ride. How do you just my best. stinking like baby's piss? <laughs> <laughs> my brother's best friend growing up got all blacked out in like high school. And his mom was like a nurse and she was she was taking a tubby in the morning at like 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fucking blacked out, drunk walks into the bathroom and pissed on his mom. Taking a oh, bath. my God. <laughs> she didn't move out of the way. She's probably like, no, oh, she was, she was screaming out. Yeah, she yeah. opened her mouth. Kevin! Oh, my God, Kevin! <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Short and shout out. Kevin Short and Clifton Heights, baby. <laughs> pissed yeah, on his dude, mom. Pissed all on your mom. mommy. Good Damn. lord. Yeah. Anyway, I want to get into fishing. You're in fishing. Do you you're do the early, fishing. early hours? Or you do Never. Uh, I'm always, I sleep. I'm a yeah, you do shit. like 5 p.m., yeah. 6 p.m.? I work, I do all my editing, and then I leave at like 6 and go. To, especially now it's sweet because sun don't go down until like 8.45. Sun don't go down. Sun don't go down. That's down the fishing. Especially sweet right now because sun don't go down until 8.35. Fishing holes stay lit too. I know, too. Sun don't go down until 845 And they hungry as hell. Yeah. You want so. a little bit of turkey sandwich there, fish? <laughs> so yeah, I go. Do you ever fish work. with a worm and a bobber? 
Yeah, when I was a kid, but not anymore, just because I don't You're feel like fisherman. buying live bait. Yeah. yeah. That's some dog ass pussy shit. Did you so you up on? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i grew up on too i yeah. won i took second place in the fishing derby twice by my house <laughs> in the youth bracket i uh, won a tackle box one year and a fishing net the damn. other year nice dude. i caught a 22 inch catfish the one year how sick i got is- you second place yeah Woo. because then the other year i won i took second the way that the guy beat me and just like catching a shit ton of little ones so each one of those oh, is like weight, a couple total points. weight i think it's like inches the bluegill or whatever, are like four inches, you know. So if you catch a shit ton of them, yeah, it adds up. How sick is a fucking tackle box when you're a kid? <laughs> oh, dude, I got my own. And it I was know, huge, dude. And I just want—I I would put like because <laughs> you're just like I want to fill this with dip- different type of. Lures, I, know, I can't wait you know? to dip use dots. all of the yeah, compartments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I want to fill this tackle box with dipping dots. Dude, I mean, well, I didn't come from like a gun household, so that's as close to a box of weapons did? as you're going to get. Me. What kind yeah, of statement yeah. is that? Oh, you yeah, came yeah. from a gun household? Well, like we have guns and we always had guns. That's yeah. My grandpa oh, gave me a Benelli a shotgun when he died and my parents fucking sold it. It's a shame you can't insane. shoot oh. fire, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> um, Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> He passed away. Dude, I was... Oh, <laughs> I took me a second to piece that together. I know, me too. I was, like, I was like, you making fun of his hair? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remembered, oh no, my grandfather <laughs> passed away. <laughs> Man, I'm what sorry. A, what a <laughs> it's just no, funny. Dude, it's like it's an old man <laughs> just shooting flames. That, that would hilarious. be a sick way to go out. <laughs> just shoot into the Give morning. me the shotgun. <laughs> It's growing. He used to sleep with it. The shotgun? Was, yeah, he was crazy. Dude. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> he was the best, but he was crazy. His name was Bobby, and my grandma's name was Bobby Jean. Really? Yeah, Robert and Roberta. <laughs> they wow. met in a rodeo. Of course they did. <clears throat> really? Where? Yeah, in they Central both PA? Rode horses. No, I, I forget, actually. I, don't, I never even asked. But they both used to ride horses for like shows, so they, they met each other that way. Chris is a horse guy now. I know. Big into horses. You're now. full mother nature. You're brother nature. Yeah, dude, dude, I am <laughs> brother nature. I like. You just reminded me. I watched that uh, bull riding documentary a while back, and uh, like, I wonder if I've seen that. I've seen oh, one. It's fucking incredible. Is bull it with riders the black are, dude? Uh, it's mostly Brazilian guys. Uh, Brazilians are apparently dirty at bull riding. Dude, if you get a chance, go to chaotic.com and look up uh, uh, uh yeah bull, fails yeah yeah. Bulls oh, killing humans. Yeah, yeah. There's a compilation of just yeah. heads opening like cantaloupes. I'm always surprised yeah, after great. every bull video that's that's not how it ends. Yeah. yeah. It's so violent yeah. and like scary to me. I saw one on Twitter yeah. the other day where the guy like dodges one, he goes to turn around and another fuck uh. another bull smokes him. Oh. It's so fun. I mean, how do you not root for the bull? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah you yeah. have to. Well, especially in the one where they kill the bull. Yeah, where they put the, the fucking oh, yeah, the yeah. meat spears in the back yeah, of his- yeah. Spine. But imagine being that guy and then watching Johnny Knoxville not get killed by a bull like yeah. 10 oh times. My God. You're just pissed at him. <laughs> Dude, those country hillbillies that just sit in the middle of a hula hoop without moving and the what? last one standing like wins a fucking lottery prize or whatever. <laughs> you ever see that? What? They just no. released like two bulls or maybe one and there's a bunch of fucking rednecks standing inside of hula hoops and you can't leave the perimeter of the hula hoop and whoever's last... <laughs> Last standing, <laughs> gets, I guess they get a. Has problem. anyone ever Apple jumped Bees a bull cards? like uh like they jump like cars going fast? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know because I think they it. buck. Yeah, so they probably just yeah, toss you build. like even higher in the air and you get fucked. Yeah, just dude. pinwheeling. Oh, it's nothing like it. <clears throat> this animal's fucking up humans. It's yeah. the best thing. Yeah, it's nice. We kill a bird. Oh, I know. Yeah, we did because the birds go for the lures, and they, they do. Yeah, because some of the lures. Oh, because they look like fish. Yeah, and you're trolling. Line. No, they use yeah. real fish. They use um. Oh, that was my question. Not all of them, but shiners. Uh, no, no, they're all Shag? fake. No, they oh. weren't. Long and skinny. Uh, I would know the name if you said it. Yeah, well, I'm not they're a salt like guy. bunker or something like that, right? Yeah, but it was oh. no, it was a full fish. It's a beach. No, it's a beach. <laughs> and he puts uh, the ones that drug a little lower. So they would go after those and then they'd be attracted to the lure yeah. at first, but the ones that actually had that the fresh fish, they would peck at and then it would scatter. And then the more birds would come uh, and oh, that's yeah. they would get hooked on the, up in the on the fake squid. Oh yeah. 
Damn. And they scream. The the birds scream. It sounds like a help. Yeah, like yeah. gulls, like seagulls. No, no, they were. They, I think they were. They, they called them like uh, tuna chicks. There was tuna chicks out there. Tuna chicks. Yeah, they did not say that. Yeah, they did. Really? Yeah, they called them tuna chicks. Uh, and then <laughs> there was another one that there was like. <laughs> there was like I think they called them like Christ birds or something like that because they like walk on water. We have some footage Whoa. of it. They like they like they oh, walk yeah, yeah. on water for a while and then like take off. Yeah, that's, that's how sweet. every seabird is, isn't it? They run know, for maybe. a while. These okay. guys do it for longer, I guess, or something. I don't know. Maybe they do it when they're landing too. Flamingos got a good run. Flamingos yeah, run. They run for a while in the water. I've only seen them like walk in like a. No, I mean they run yeah. before they fly. Oh, really? You know flamingos fly, right? I had no idea. Well, we'll look into it. We'll take a trip to <laughs> Miami when we get to 5,000. <laughs> True. Yeah, what a silly bird. Dude, yeah. let's go fishing. I'd love to. Let's Where are we do going? like a, I don't we know. Go out on the sound. I'd love to. I've yeah. never fished. I want to fish in salt water, especially yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, dude. His brother's got a boat. Yeah, we can go out there anytime. Let's yeah, go. but we got to get up at like five now. Yeah, he yeah. said after this trip, he's like, uh, we got to get out earlier. Yeah, yeah, we got to get up early. And it fucks it's up really about the tides. so many of your hours. Yeah. It's you're shot for two days. Yeah, I usually. I'm not used to having a job. It's like you got to get up at either. four or five o'clock. I know, but you're also done by like eleven. Yeah, but you're drinking all day. <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah, that yeah. was that's rough. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna go fishing and not drink. Get yeah. real. No, it's like a football game. Was, and drinking was fun. Yeah, grow up. <laughs> Wait, did you end up pissing or not? Did you ever piss? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, we got footage of that too. I finally pissed. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, good thing you got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, at that point I was worried about just like my bladder imploding. Yeah, yeah I was. I just like I, I finally got confident, and I was like, "Look, dude, boys are gonna see the peck." I wasn't even worried about that. It was the motion. Yeah. The motion was the motion weird. of the ocean. I'd be worried my plug wouldn't get over the, the boat, you know. Yeah, and then you hang it over. Yeah, you offend one of the sea cops. Yeah, I didn't sea want to do cops, that. Dude. Well, sea cops is great. It's a great charter. Uh, shout out. Uh, blue, 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 line, line. blue line charters. Blue, yeah, line, yeah, charter. yeah. blue line charter. Sea cops actually is a cool. Sea cops is a cool is name. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty cool name. <laughs> Better than a. Oh, never mind. Say it. I was trying to think of uh, what do they call like? Uh, isn't there like a sea pig? Oh, sea cow is what I was thinking. Oh yeah, sea that's cow. a manatee. A manatee. Yeah. yeah, those are great too. I that's love manatees. I They're <clears throat> disgusting. You've never have you seen one? I've seen a manatee. I went to the zoo. I don't know. Sometimes when your eyebrows do that, I feel like you're lying. Oh, in the zoo, <laughs> they're filthy. They're like hippos. They 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 just what? swim in their shit. <laughs> what? They're disgusting, dude. They smell they're like ass. They're in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> they're not in a cage. You're swimming in a fucking monkey. Yeah, but it's, an aquarium is a sea cage. <laughs> Yeah, technically. Not technically. That's what it is. Well, it stinks. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not. Guess what else stinks? The fucking the reptiles. Dude, they out, stink. At, at what the what? Can you imagine when you watch Planet Earth? You imagine how bad that fucking this this smell of like the fucking elephant seals land. <laughs> they just shit and sleep all day long, <laughs> in their own filth. <laughs> and you can see, almost see the steam coming up. Like that fucking, that poor photographer. Well, that they sit there for like five months. They don't have opposable thumbs. They can't build toilets. Just filming these slow, fat idiots shit it's all over. It's too far to get in the water. You got a good spot on the beach. Yeah. No wonder they kill themselves. They probably can't take the stink anymore. They get up to the high mountain and fucking tumble. They're like, I can't. I don't want My nose this. can't take any yeah, more of yeah. the stink. I'm, I'm going to fucking this, this kill myself. Coil. Yeah. Yeah. I can't feed my fat kid anymore. It's a fucking hellish existence. Take a yeah. dive, dude. The blubber of them falling down, cascading in slow That's slow-mo. crazy. It's kind of nuts that the uh, photographer is like, we need yeah, to get this in yeah. 30 frames per mm -hmm. second. We need, <laughs> we need to slow this dude down. <laughs> yeah. And they just keep showing it. Yeah. It's like big fatty. And then know. they show you like the carcasses at the end, like you didn't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They like yeah. take you across the beach and, and that's like, a whole yeah, other layer. Died. Another layer stink. So there's like a, there's like an open cemetery part of the fucking island, <laughs> all right, dude, which is well, just all fat bloated carcasses blown up from gas, <laughs> gas, ex <laughs> gas exposure. I just, I just Don't want, you think I about stuff Tommy, like this? I want Tommy just just driving around like the the North Atlantic with cologne, dude. <laughs> Spray. Just fucking Spray cars and down the fucking walls yeah. with your car noir. Just a fucking. <laughs> Just me and the sea cops out there coloning down these fat walruses. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
Oh. I, I honestly, I think about this. I, I have an issue with like scents and smells and stuff. Um, which, by the way, manscape.com. <laughs> you could still use our uh, promo code for Stuff Island and get twenty percent off because they give us like ball cologne and shit that I'm pretty big yeah. into. But um, <laughs> I get bugged out about scents and shit. It's called ball toner. Yeah, no, there's a ball toner. Yeah. And there's nut cologne. I've heard it's just like different <laughs> scents for your genitals. Yeah, I'll go fucking get it. So I've been uh, using your balls. It. Need to get toned up. I could use some tonage down there. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you some toner. You can have my toner. I, I keep the cologne. We'll go ahead and ask these. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, in the yeah, yeah, the promo code stuff, by the way. Um, but yeah, like when you see like these these videos of like some fucking, some hairy armpit lady in the, <laughs> the middle of a desert, like sleeping with a <laughs> cheetah. And all I can think of is how bad it stinks. I you mean, know, I'm I just immediately you. go how how terrible that tent smells. That's yeah. a stinky tent. You it's, can't just be cruising. It might with be the stinkiest tent. <laughs> Matt was just talking about medieval times and how bad it used to smell back then. Yeah. Because they used to like butcher animals in their house, leave the shit they didn't want outside their house, shit in buckets and just dump it outside. Oh my God. Yeah. Dude, I mean, that's, that, that's like, you know, that's why the Indians got, or Native Americans got fucked up so bad. Because they smell. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I mean, both kinds of because Indians because stink we, like we shit. had been living. <laughs> white people have been living in absolute fucking filth for a thousand oh. years, and then we just show up to like a pristine, clean place, yeah. <laughs> just like with immune systems that are insane. Yeah. And they're like not ready for that. They're not ready for like yeah. a, like downtown London fucking diseases. We're just throwing fucking shit snowballs <laughs> at them. The whole yeah, family, the whole like, village gets sick. What the fuck? Yeah, they dude. got all the disease. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. You ever like? I I stopped going to friends' houses like when their dog stinks. Oh you ever yeah. Pet yeah, a nice yeah. little dog. He's yeah. a good boy. I want to pet him. I want to oh fucking scratch God. him behind the ears and pat his ass, and then you go. You smell your hand. Like you're gonna wash this fucking dog. Or you're just gonna let it stink up the whole house, dude. Because now your couch stinks. Now yeah. your rug stinks, and it's seeping into the and fucking drywall. We're not drywall. friends anymore. Yeah, I can't go over your house anymore, Carl. <laughs> Sorry. You got a fat, smelly dog. Put it down, or we're not friends anymore. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my friend's dog just died, and it smelled like it was dying for like three years. And it was the cutest thing ever. That's you a just shame. Reminded me of it. There's a teacup Yorkie. And his name was Dixie. Shout out to Dixie. I'm sorry, Dave, for talking yeah, about your yeah, dog. Yeah. But you know that thing smelled. <laughs> Dude, it was like, Cause it's it was just like a probably swamp. Sh- yeah, yeah. It's just a lazy one. It owner. was like this big. It was lazy. It was the cutest no. thing in the world. It was so cute that I would put up with the smell. Yeah. Just because I love well, that it's, it's, thing. They so probably much. had anal leakage. Man, oh I hope so. God. Yeah, that's probably what it was. <laughs> No, Man, that's gross. Yes. Don't put a fucking diaper on it. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't just let this thing shit all over your ottomans, dude. You're <laughs> gross. It's the number one reason. This is the number gross. one reason why we could never get a dog. It's because because you never clean. No, because Tommy would try to treat it like a person. Tommy thinks dogs need to shower every day. They do. You gotta <laughs> bathe the dog. You gotta bathe the dog. Skin, your skin isn't meant for it. You psycho. Put a ball toner on the dog. <laughs> Little necklace won't fucking hurt. <laughs> like a, little, a little delicate chain on yeah, a Rottweiler. Fucking, uh, 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 I'll tell you what, that fucking. Yeah. <laughs> you put a chain on a Rottweiler, it'd be a hookah bar on fucking 30 <laughs> 20 minutes. <Yeah. laughs> Pulling some of these fat ass Latinas. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of fishing. <sighs> <laughs> we should go there one day. We should go. I, w- I want to go there. You always bars. say it's too dangerous. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I talked about the, the only thing that's dangerous. Are the I was like, every, every, time, every time you bring the it up, are like thirteen dollars. Yeah, every time you bring it up, I'm like, let's go in there. No, it's like, dude, I'm like, not buying dude, a Heineken no fucking for fucking way. fifteen bucks. Holy I'll get Lord. blacked out with dudes that have weird mustaches down the street. <laughs> yeah, why would you want to do so much? Like you know, baby boy. <laughs> Is my mustache looking? You look bad? great. No, no, that's good. It's been crazy lately. You're wildly handsome. Tommy, you, you are. are. You got like this. Man. You know, you have a a thing about you. You got a, you're stylistically it. handsome. Thank you. Yeah, man. you got like Eclectic. you, you kind of have like a Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. No, because he's got if the Leonardo he had DiCaprio the blonde, had the blonde hair and the dark eyebrows. If DiCaprio that's a deadly smelly dog yeah. with anal leakage, <laughs> it'd be you. Dude, some Let's people bring came this up. Like if you had blue eyes, <clears throat> you you would not well, be. Women a would have to wear helmets <laughs> in case they fell over after staring at my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> They'd all have to have bike helmets on. Are you fucking kidding me? They need armor. <laughs> I'd be so hot they need armor. You'd have to fit these ladies with helmets before I entered the room. Oh I would have a bag God. of helmets like a like a dad has like six soccer balls in a sack. <laughs> yeah. I'm like handing these out to the girls. But that that's that's like uh that's like a little mermaid situation where what like well like <laughs> Because if you had the blue eyes, you have no personality. You wouldn't need it. Mm. it well, it's like taking the girl's voice. My brother's I mean? got green eyes. My other brother's got sky blue eyes, like fucking the universe. My mother's got <laughs> green eyes. Only me and my father have shit brown they eyes. Have, they, have, they all have dark hair? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I got fucked. <laughs> me too. Thanks. I got Dad. poopy browns. You got poopy browns. Yeah. Yeah. They work for you though. It'd be weird to see, you know what I mean? You, you yeah. know somebody that has a, a blue eye type of True. image. I remember we used to see- You know what I mean? You see a girl with like crystal blue eyes and you're like, it's kind of off-putting. We should get you contacts. We should get you blue oh, contacts. Yeah. Get some green ones. Get Just some lizard eyes. Just see what eyes. happens. <laughs> All you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then we go to the hookah bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah. like, Mr. Yeah, yeah. 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 Give it to them in a different language. And you just jig through the bar. Do you have? Uh, I know I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this ball. <laughs> that is. That's if you. We give you blue eyes. That's that is like that's like a custom lure. True. <laughs> that's so for funny, top dude. Water. <laughs> I got a <laughs> it's a dumb slut bait. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb slut bait. And I, I carry around like a mini tackle box to take them out and put them. <laughs> yeah, for different hookah bars, different yeah. bars, different races you're trying yeah. to attract. You put Dude, in true story. I, uh, this this episode is brought to you by Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so corny. I can't do it. But yeah, that we we got sent this package of Sheath underwear. It's made by this fucking soldier that decided when he was trudging through Iraq, murdering innocent children and women, uh, that he wanted to separate his balls and his penis while he walked <laughs> so they didn't stick together. <laughs> uh, is that, are you reading the copy right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's weird at first, but I got to be honest, pretty fucking great. It is pretty good. I think my biggest problem is that There's my two balls, pockets. My balls touch my grundle is my biggest problem. That is a problem for you me too. You got long nuts. No. No, it's just a, a minor in like where's my your butthole grundle? Right you now. got a gap between Grundle's your grundle all the way down. Your what? Grundle's down. <laughs> your asshole to your nuts. Damn. That's a good space. Are you wrapping your nuts down no, there like a sandwich? Grundle is the space between your nuts and I know and what your a asshole. grundle is, you fucking ape. Then why can't you conceive of balls touching it? You put your underwear on, your balls are touching your grundle? You got long nuts. Not anymore. Not, not anymore. With With sheep. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> no, promo code twenty percent off. Promo code Stuff Island. You get twenty percent off your first order. Get them undies. I've never tried them yet. Dude, they're great. I'll give you a pair. Tom, I'm wearing them right now. You spoil me. <laughs> they also I do spoil you. My they balls also come are spoiled in, today. <laughs> you know what I do? I spoil your nuts. Dude. True. I spoil I your nookies. It. I'm gonna fucking My clean nookies. them up. <laughs> Your nookies are going to get a bomb and a fucking nice little... Uh, Damn. A little scuttle. A little scuttle. Dude, I was wearing... Do so we like, have the copy? Where's the fucking copy for this? <laughs> I sent it to you. Jesus Christ. I crushed it, you idiot. So uh, they come in different lengths and sizes. Also, they come in women's. So if you want like bra and panties so that your nipples don't touch your grundle. Yeah, so if any of you girls out there need your balls. Yeah. Because <laughs> girls fucking, could have balls now. Oh, they big yeah. labia. You got to separate your labia from your clitoris. True. <laughs> There's a little you clitoris pocket for your panties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nasty pussy. You ever seen a, a, a larger clitoris? It's really baffling. Honestly, no. I've been pretty blessed with regular pussies so far. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I've, I've had some really. I've had some that smell like bad dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I had this one that I was like having sex from behind, and it worked its way all oh, the way no. up to my nostrils. Oh no. And I even take my t-shirt off. I was wearing the same fanny pack. I had it like I took it off, and I had my gym shorts and my ankles, and it worked its way up to my. Where nose. were you, Six Flags? Why are you fucking somebody? In Old Bridge, <laughs> Old Bridge, New Jersey, in some apartment complex. Chris is going through some his. Just send me the email. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We are, we already did. It's look the chubby mama. It's wonderful underwear. I got five pairs. Some are long. Some are short. Berks On the out. fishing trip, I wore the ones that are like leopard print and shit. I took yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah. I, I like I like the long. They're ones. the short ones. Yeah, the leopard yeah. one is a short one. Or it's oh, camo. Well, it's either not way, I, I like a little length. 
If you spend Me a whole too. day walking, my thighs rub. Yeah. Dude, I just got short ones, and I was like, I've never. This suck balls. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine wearing tidy whities. Yeah, I was just thinking what, about. How that. do you fucking? I guess that's for like old men who everything's just thin and. Guys, you got to go to sheathunderwear.com. Use code stuff. I only get twenty percent off your first order. Plus, sheath underwear is a hundred percent money back guarantee. That's big. You get the hundred percent of the money back if uh, if you don't like uh, the the grundle holder. <laughs> At sheathunderwear.com, promo code stuff filing, get sheath underwear and let them support dot 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 your balls. Your balls. Yeah. Let them support your balls. Yeah. Just let them support and that's your it. balls. Oh, yeah, your okay, penis gets a little help. The first idea for sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton. During his second tour in Iraq, when he murdered innocent women and children, support this awesome veteran-owned company and support the show. I support the troops. But I want all <laughs> I the record. Too. On the record, Dude, I Pat, we need troops. to get a fucking a tuna trip out. Yeah. I support With, the troops. I support, I support, the, support the police. Yeah, blue yes. lives matter. And I, hate, I support no, the no, troops. Blue lives matter, <laughs> not innocent lives. Yeah. Anyway, try the underwear. It's fucking great. Try I enjoy the it. underwear. I would tell you the truth if, uh, I, if I didn't like it. Yeah. I would have him read it, and then I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time <laughs> well this is genuine they are good they're, they're like, nice they're like compression shorts yeah. they're like they're like they're I've like heard. a they're like a light hug from a compression short i'll tell you what it feels like <clears throat> you know the old school underwear where your pecker would so there's like there's an overlap like this where you find that little hole yes like what dad's would i still pee think out of. i have them has yeah. anyone ever peed right out of now. the hole no i just no. ripped down yeah no no my dad would pull up the leg of his whole short <laughs> yeah He'd piss out the uh, at the bottom. That's yeah. wild. Like he's bass fishing. <laughs> anyway, why? Because so the underwear <laughs> apply, apply too much pressure and cut off the hose. Yeah, I like think so. The hose. Yeah, Dad's yeah. got a dad. Dad would wrap straight. his whole hammer in a grundle. Really? Yeah, whole hoagie goes down there. His butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fill her up. Piss right in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then throw up the urine. Yeah, that's recycling. <laughs> His whole wire was way off. Anyway, she's dot com. Stuff yeah. on 20% off. If you don't want to piss Shut in your butt. Right, no, I want to I tell you. <laughs> you make sure that that never happens. I want to tell you. The, uh, the old school opening of the underwear, when the tip of your pecker would fall out, if you're doing laps, when you're not making weight for Pee Wee football or some shit, <laughs> and the tip of your, your hammer touches your meshies, it's a weird feeling because you feel like you're being exposed. These underwear feel a similar way, but you have a protection. Oh, where dude. You're Jerking not getting off shaved. into mesh shorts. Do you remember? <laughs> what? Do you remember getting like a I'm trying like to over the over the pants hand job in mesh shorts, dude? Oh, fucking yeah. No. You're just dangling. What are you talking about? Where were you? Library. <laughs> yeah, dude, anywhere. I kinda I just got one of those the other day. It's like it's the next best thing to lube because you had the you have two pieces of fabric that are both very smooth against one another. So the Dude, the, the fabric touching your dick would stay still and then their hand job would go on, I the, fucking, on the upper fabric. I damaged would. my bird dry dry humping <laughs> oh, in its basement so bad that I, I literally couldn't I've play baseball the next day. <laughs> yeah. Just it was what just happened? a zipper fire. I just fucking oh oh my I God. rubbed dungarees for like three uh. hours. Just yeah. Oh my wow. god! I could have started a fire. Yeah, yeah. you could have. Thank God my grandpa was in there. Maybe <laughs> that's how he died. Yeah. He was humping the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> he's humping. No, he's just getting rid by a hot yeah. bitch. Yes, yeah, dude. he's just humping a hot lady's leg. But if she's beating you off through meshies, it's like take it out. Let them breathe. Yeah, it happens eventually. Let them come out a little bit. No, the parents like are in a the whale. Next, parents, are, yeah. parents are in the next room. Parents are in the next room. You need, you know, a little cover. You want to stay hidden. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's a real undercover kind of job. So just a small stroke? No, you could get, dude, there's a lot of latitude with mesh shorts. Because well, it's the mesh two shorts you wear. Completely yeah. independent layers. So you can go, you can, get, you can get a lot of movement. Damn, dude. I've Seems never like you're still into it. Dude, dude right. I, I like, <laughs> Oh, would you be in the like nostalgic bangs like that, or it's like you set the tone? What for, do you like, mean? Like, was that like an escape room kind of idea? No, <laughs> nostalgic bangs. Yeah, nostalgic bangs. Like you go back to like all the corny shit you did <laughs> in high VR. school. Oh, oh yeah, and like dude. you recreate it a little bit. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? It's like dressing course. up like a fucking dolphin or of something. Of course, of course, <laughs> of course, dude. It's high school sex fucking ruled. 
because it was so clandestine. <laughs> it was so clandestine. <laughs> I still can't get enough of stuff. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Chris. No, anytime. It, I don't know what clandestine. What's clandestine? It's like secret. Oh, you yeah. Gotta like, yeah, that's the best part. I mean, me and this girl used to sneak out of both our houses and like meet, it, meet in the middle of town and shit. It was yeah. like fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. And she'd be like, take your balls out of your grundle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to bob out them of around. Your grundle. Just, you hold on, babe. Let me put on my yeah. champion shorts. Just fucking <clears throat> oh, dude, just that getting hand jobs. Around. Just getting hand jobs at 3 a.m. My oh, fucking hell yeah. in the middle of the in the middle. My of assistant town. baseball coach, Mr. Mahoney, had fucking nuts. That Mahoney, <laughs> Mr. Mahoney, had nuts that would fall out. He had like seven inches, and he, his Whoa. nuts, his nuts were down here, dude. Yeah, just a fucking long, stretchy bean bag. Yeah, dude. My buddy had a had a ball bag that I swear he could sail with. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like one of those gliders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sugar gliders. Gliders. <laughs> dude, there's one, there was this one dude talking to his knees. <laughs> this one dude, Chris Hopkins in high school. Shout out, Chris. He had one giant <laughs> testicle, was the shape of a fucking racquetball. It was like this big. <laughs> And he would have one normal nut, and then he had one giant nut, and he would we'd be like, "Give us the nut, dude! Give us the nut!" And that was like, <laughs> that, was, that was the good luck charm before every basketball game. You know, rub Hop, it. we called him Hoppy for Hopkins, and <laughs> yeah. like Hoppy showed a nut, and he you would guys pull out this one. circle, like <laughs> <laughs> just doing a cool oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. All right, we go on the page. Yeah, you go to the page. All right. Oh, you can still talk. Yeah. Chris, what do you want to talk about? Um, Poppy's nuts. Oh, Hoppy's nuts. Oh, here's the thing that was pissing me off. Uh, we were in the car on the way to the fishing trip, and I couldn't connect to the Bluetooth. Oh. And because you're not allowed to connect to Bluetooth while moving. Oh. And it's just like. I don't know whoever came up with that. That is causing more accidents True. than it's protecting. I'm certain of it. Just furious. I'm certain because it's like, do you know anything about human psychology? You think if I'm driving, like, and it's happened to me in a rental car, and I try to connect to the Wi-Fi, that that, I, and it goes, no, you can't. You're moving. That I'm just gonna stop trying. <laughs> no. No, I'm stopping in the no, middle. No, I'm gonna of go as slow as I can on the highway to try to get it. Anytime, like if traffic builds up, I'm going to be looking down, trying to, am I going? Is you it, think maybe you got to put it in park, right? Does it have to uh, be Who in knows? Park? But it's like, it's causing trouble. Yeah. And they don't fucking get that. They don't it's understand. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Stop, stop trying retarded. to protect me from myself. You do the seatbelt, the seatbelts, that's it. Yeah. That's even it. that's annoying. Uh, but it's still, it's like, that makes sense. But it's like, there's not like I can't do anything. It's like, you're already letting, it's like I can move from one radio station to another. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can go from radio to CD to Bluetooth to fucking whatever, but I can't just connect my fucking phone. I'm with you, Chris. It takes two seconds. That would drive me insane. I would pull over. I'd, I, I would get really mad when I found out I couldn't do it, and then yeah. I would immediately pull over as soon as I can. And well, you're better than me. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pulling over. I'm like, what, I'm, not gonna I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to let you make a stop on my drive. <laughs> you know, because especially when you're traveling in those hours, like between like four and seven it's like you can't pull over you might get caught in traffic you like if you're not True. really in traffic it's like you're you might just skirt this thing yeah so you're it's like i'm not gonna bluetooth Dude. not being able to connect it's fucking ridiculous it is, what he yeah. gets hot about is so strange <laughs> and like even his brother was like okay and he's like, it's fucking, it's, it's going to cause us an accident. It does. And he's screaming <laughs> in his brother's face. It and does. his brother's like, all right, Chris, we'll talk to the manufacturer Dude. about the design. <laughs> well, someone's got to talk to him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a problem. Dude, you, and the same he with the so beeping with the seatbelts. It's like that is causing <laughs> at, more accidents than it's saving. I'm sure of it. He's it's costing more lives than it's so saving. So lazy sure fair with things he shouldn't be. <laughs> And then the things that arise that drive this man insane, and he goes from zero to a thousand is also, it's frightening. It's like, it's scary I, that I mean, you care so much about something so little. Because it, it <laughs> it's uh, like, if I'm driving. I also love this thing you do now. What, my dad just, used to do this. Let it leak out? My dad would smoke, he'd take a pull from a dart of a Winston soft pack 
and he would have a conversation for 20 minutes and still go, <laughs> you'd see smoke coming out of his nostril halfway yeah. through the story. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's nice. You get a little taste of the flavor on the way out. <laughs> so it's like you get to talk and eat like a nice watermelon candy. <laughs> it's pretty great. Nice I'm treat. No, but the, I like, I'll be driving and I'll have my backpack in the passenger seat and the seatbelt like alarm will go off. <clears throat> And it's oh. just like, dude, now I'm adjusting a fucking backpack instead of focusing on the road. You don't know what's in the car. Go to sheath.com. So stop making alarm. Like, it's just like. Promo code. Just let me be the person. You be the car. Stop if I it. die, it's my fault. 20% off your first purchase. You got an airbag. You got seatbelts. We're going to Patreon. With You're doing everything you can. Bluetooth Sean Gardini. Matter. The most <laughs> handsomest boy. <laughs> <laughs> Little Bluetooth Leonardo matter. DiCaprio the second. Yeah. See you on the other side. <laughs> Sayonara.